This is the unboxing of the 1934 Ford Heights independent front suspension with the power rack and pinion. This is the anti-sway bar. It's an extra part that you can also get. And this is the upper and lower control arm. That is the upper arm. And they are adjustable so you can change the caster, caster and camber. And that's the lower control arm. And these are the boots that cover up all that grease coming out of the ball joints. And these are the pins, the bolts that hold the shocks on. And here we have the springs. These are 400 pound springs. And with these independent front suspension springs and shock assemblies, they're adjustable to tune it in to the, the weight of your particular front suspension. And there's a little knob on the side that allows the shock to go up and down at different speeds. So you have quicker and slower response. And these are the left and right spindles. They feel like they're made out of aluminum. And the shaft is steel of some sort. Looks like it's been pressed in. And there's some of the hardware. And this is the backing plate that holds the brake calibers by Wildwoods. And here we have the brake pads. They're held in place by a cutter pin. They just slide in and out. And here we have the bearings and the back grease seal. And here we have one of the four cylinder brake calibers by Wildwoods. You can see the cutter pin that holds the brake pads in, held by a rubber band. And here we have one of the rotors. These are for Ford. And they're 11 inch in diameter. Then here's the last brake elevator. And I think they put that foam in there. The bubble, bubble stuff to try and keep the calibers from falling out on shipment. And here we have the cross member for the 1934 Ford. And these are the radiator supports. And I found out that this is too big about two inches too wide. I end up finding out mine is a 1932 frame. But other than that, everything else is pretty much similar. The radiator supports are a little different. And there you can see those two parts that hold the rack and pinion. And this gets welded to your frame. The same location as your existing frame cross member. Hope 
thank you so much for watching this unpacking of the 1934 independent front suspension.